Hey guys, yeah, as you see there, we got a couple of packages today. Some bi two big ones, one small one, two from Amazon, one from Best Buy. So, with that said, is a uh, adjust this here for a second. And uh, I do apologize if I go solid for a second. I just want to make sure I got it balanced right here, where you guys can uh, see me straight and everything. Hold on for a sec. My, uh, look at yeah, yeah, I think you guys got it. I think you guys got it. Okay, so yeah. Welcome. And I told you we were going to do some package openings this week. We've already done one yesterday. And now we got some new ones uh, today. Yes, we got a couple of new ones today. And I'm going to make sure, you know, I didn't do any more package openings this week as far as I know. Just uh, making sure here. Let's see, there's that one, and then let's see if I did any more before that. Nope. See, I got two major package openings today, and that's my dog down there. I just fed her a snack, and what she likes to do is wander around to see where I'm at to see if she can get more or something. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I got a um, like I said, I got a couple of packages today to open. Uh, like I said, two big ones from Amazon, as you saw, and then one from Best Buy. So, with that said, as I make sure this is adjusted right, and yeah, I think it is. I think you guys can you guys can see me. I'm pretty sure. I mean, you can see me looking straight into the camera. Is what I'm saying. Um, anyway, with that said, let's take a look at the Best Buy one. Now, yesterday I got Speed on 4K Steelbook, or basically I got the 4K version of. Of speed on you know in the steel book is what I'm trying to say um, getting I'm drinking some coffee have had no coffee today I was relaxing for most of the morning I mean I got up early and when my mom called me to tell me she was leaving not when she was telling me she was leaving but she yeah she called me she t uh, basically told me she was leaving I got up got a sprite uh, got a banana to eat well, I had a sprite already uh, opened here in the in the room I just uh, drank it again and had a, a banana uh, later um, around the same time and then she called me to let me know she was uh, at work or she'd gotten to her job so yeah so yeah it kind of kind of threw me off a little bit not that I'm not that it always does that I mean most of the time I get up and I'm fine and everything but I just felt like relaxing it was strange because I went to bed a little before she does I mean she was already asleep on the couch you know, she falls asleep on the couch and all that. Me, I usually wait till she's getting ready to go to bed and, um, herself and then she'll bring the dog into my room to sleep on her bed in here for the night uh, along with me along with me while I'm sleeping on mine. Uh, but this time I actually went and got our, got our dog, brought her in. My mom was still asleep. She didn't even hear me do that. And then I just got my bed together, my bed unmade if you will, ready for bed or ready to be slept on. And, you know, turned off the light and that was history. I was done. You know, I was done. I think what it is is that what some people don't perceive about with YouTube videos, especially when you're uh, making money off your channels and your videos, um, the, the videos that you can actually, you know, actually make money off of, um, it's a lot of hard work. Because basically, uh, the one thing YouTube says or advises is that the more you upload, the more viewership you'll get and the more money you'll make out of it um, if you will so basically I think I just wore myself out is what I did over the past several uh, past several uh, days because again this is the first week of back to normalness uh, if you will uh, that I have uh, that I've had since my mom was on vacation her annual summer vacation and I guess I just wore myself out or something I don't know but yeah I was just tired I fell asleep and again I got up earlier could have uh, could have got up and made my bed and everything, but I just felt like relaxing and everything. I think it might also be the weather as well, because around here, around here, especially in like in Caldor and in all the other areas up in the mountains and mountain regions, the fighting the uh, fires, the wildfires, at least trying to contain them, you know, as best they can, so we don't have an incident like we did last year, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's why. You know, that's why I'm doing this video right now, instead of, you know, already having a couple of videos up and ready to go um, from earlier, which, 
you know, again, I was resting, so I'm sure you, a lot of you would understand that. Uh, but anyway, to get back on topic here, get back on topic, uh, we have a couple of videos, I mean, a couple of packages to open. The first one here is from Best Buy. Like I said yesterday, the other Best Buy one I got was the 4K edition of Speed, uh, but it was the Steelbook edition. It was in the steel, Steelbook casing. And Best Buy, for some odd reasons, as I've mentioned before, and if you watch people like Cool Duder, you know, Sean, Sean Phillips, Shotzi Phillips, uh, Zara Nizarak, and Andre Meadows, Black Nerd Comedy, they usually say that you need to go with the Steelbook. That if you're going to buy a movie, the best versions to try to look for, Blu-ray or 4K, or even if they're still out there, still, uh, DVD, is the Steelbook. Go for the Steelbook. So, um, obviously, Best Buy, I guess, heard the... The uh, <coughs> favoritism, excuse me, the favoritism uh, that steelbooks are getting, and decided, you know what? Let's go out and make some deals with a lot of these uh, studios and be like the main, not the, not not the main, but one of the main main steelbook distributors, like one of those, one of the exclusive exclu exclusiveers, if you will, for steelbook purchasing. But anyway, like I said. Um, I got the speed one yesterday, so now we'll see what this one is, um, if you will. And and this is the one, believe it or not, this is the one that came out of Portland, Oregon, and went. And instead of going the route of okay, it's going to go through Portland, Oregon, it's going to go to the airport, it's going to end up in Sacramento, then it's going to come here to to Newman, like the speed one did yesterday. This one went from Portland to San Francisco to Sacramento to here so uh, we'll see uh, it was worth the trip if it's what I think it is so with that said let's open this up yep it's a still book and it is the still book edition on blu-ray with digital code of Batman the Long Halloween. Now I know, <coughs> excuse me. Now I know some people may not like the steelbook kind of deal, especially if they look at the bindings on the side here with the traditional Blu-ray releases, because they have obviously they're trying to spell out DC Universe. That's the main goal. So getting steelbook editions like this kind of throws that off a little bit, unless they have it somewhere. But yeah, we have the steelbook edition of Batman the Long Halloween Part Two. I have part one, now I have part two, and and, and honestly, you know, f and honestly, this is a straight shoot. I don't know what it is, but anytime these come out, I have to get them because, you know, when you watch them, when you do take the time to watch them, they are, most of them are tremendous. I mean, I did a review, honestly, I did a review here on my channel, as well as, as well as it's the same review that I converted to MP3 for my uh, B.W. Rose's Discussions audio podcast, and the podcast on that, the numbers on the podcast, the audio podcast of it, of the review, went up the roof. I mean, they, they shot up straight faster than I think anything has uh, in quite some time. And it was all because I gave a good review, a decent, um, a, not just a good review, but a deservingly good review on Apocalypse War. And again, it's just, like I said, one of those kind of movies that uh, you have that when you take the ch time to watch it, you see how good good it is, and you kind of see how much more effort, you know, and I know a lot of people don't like saying that, but how much more effort DC and Warner Brothers has put into the animated movies than they do, um, than they do the live action films, which hopefully they'll start adjusting to, uh, start fixing in, in, in the future. I mean, they are, I mean, cor correction, they are fixing it, but, there are still some kinks in the armor, if you know what I mean. <laughs> like I said, it just officially got, I mean, I was awake, you know, off and on, you know, if you will. Finally just got up a little while ago, that's why I'm drinking my coffee and everything um, as well. But okay, just petting my dog there. Okay, so we have two big packages here. First one. It's a huge one, and if it's what I think it is, if it's what I think it is, Zara Nazarak, I gotta give you a big shout out for this. I really do. If it's what I think it is. 
a big shout out to Sean McLean's Zero Nice Rack because if you guys follow the Multimedia Chronicles on his channel, Zero Nice Rack's channel, this guy, anytime he does package openings, anytime he does close to looks, anytime he does update videos, he has this at his side to display what he has or what he's going to talk about. Or something like this anyway. So, if this is what I think it is, we shall see. Because we've got two big packages. It could be in the other package, but we'll see. Uh, but I don't think so. Because <laughs> I think, honestly, I think the wording there, if you can see it, kind of gives it away as to what it is. And I, and I know some people be like, well, why do you want a mu music stand? You don't do music. Well, that's the thing. Why would I want a music stand? Because like I said, the word just gave it away. Because again, you don't just need it for music. You can use it for uh, anything else. And they even advertise you could use it for anything else. You could use it for uh, projectors. You could use it for anything that comes to mind. Heck, you can even use it for a freaking dinner plate. If you want to, a, di a dinner stand, if you will. But yeah, there it is. Finally got this. I only got a music stand and everything and here's the truth I've been wanting to get one of these because even though I don't have a problem just showing you what I have I'd like to have something to kind of you know you know you know be right there what I'm trying to say is it's not that I have a problem it's not that I have a problem um, I'm trying to fold this box up here that's why I'm a little distracted I do apologize uh, but again like I said it's not that I have a problem um, if you will, showing you guys, you know, movies like this when I talk about them and all that. What I feel, you know, it's not that I have a problem doing that. You know, I like to basically kind of have it like right next to me, if you will, while I'm talking about it. And that's the one thing I got to give credit to Sean uh, Zaranizarak for doing. He has the music stand and he's like, you know what, I'm just going to put it up here and, you know, show you what I'm talking, let you see what I'm talking about while it's right next to me. And he does. I mean, when I sent him some packages uh, years ago, almost a decade ago, it's actually been a decade. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Decade there, Sean. That's unbelievable. Uh, but yeah, uh, he would, one of the first packages I sent him, he was just going to like be like, okay, here's this, here's that, right? And he's like, you know what, I have the music stand here. Let me just put the stuff up there. And that's what he did. It makes it easier. It's more convenient, um, if you will. So yeah, that's why I finally got the music stand. And I'm going to set it up, hopefully, to where it looks decent enough for you guys to, to see it uh, when it's all said and done. Uh, yeah, it's a more it's more stuff, if you will, but it's the kind of stuff that can help out in the long run. Alright, next up we have another big package here. And if this is what I think it is, it's got two things that I got from my mom for her birthday. And... Um, and it's got stuff that I've been wanting as, as well. It's kind of had my eyes on it as well. Uh, you know, because if you're wondering what I got my mom for my bur her birthday, just out of curiosity, her birthday was this Wednesday, or this past Wednesday. And I got her a Kohl's card, a $25 Kohl's card, and I gave her an extra $20. As well as I bought her fried chicken and a cake at the suggestion of my older sister. Uh, my mom's not, and here's the thing, my mom's not the kind that, you know, really is, you know, much into cello, you know, much into having big parties and all that the older she gets. So I don't think she would have minded, especially in a way it didn't sound like she would have minded either way, but she did appreciate the gesture. And I thought, honestly, that when she told me to do that, my older sister, to get the cake and the fried chicken, I thought, are they coming down? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It just kind of made me wonder. So I went up and got it just in case. So what happened after she told me that, I got myself ready. I shut everything down. Alex locked everything up, went to the store, got it, because I wasn't sure. So anyway, so anyway, yeah, um, I did that for her. And then I told her that I got a few other things coming her way that, you know, she's had her eye on that they've been advertising uh, for a while. It has to do with one of her favorite Beatles, if you know what I mean. And uh, speaking of the Beatles, they do have a new anniversary albums coming out for Get Back and Let Go. I think in time for the get back documentary movie so anyway let's take a look at the package here and see what we have uh, 
inside, um, if you will. And we'll do that in a moment while I go check my dog. Hold on guys, sorry about that. Um, as I mentioned before, I think briefly in another package opening or a video I did uh, recently, my dog, when she walks around, wanders around, it kind of, you know, makes my mom worried a little bit, uh, even though she's not here. The reason being is because one time, you know, my dog likes to go in her room and be with her for a bit while she's either getting into her, either, either with her, let me rewind, there we go. Uh, basically, uh, my mom worries a little bit because uh, the the last time her our dog was in her room when she was kind of like you know uh, getting herself um, you know into her relaxing clothes, her after work clothes or something like that, or her evening attire, you know, her evening relaxing attire, at home attire, if you will. Uh, basically, the dog did number two <laughs> by accident. She couldn't help it. So she ended up starting to do that, and my mom's been, you know, kind of cautious since then. She's like, you know, keep an eye on her, you never know. You know, so, you know, anytime she starts wander wandering, that's kind of like a sign, um, if you will. You know, it's kind of like a sign. Um, anyway, anyway, and hold on, guys, hold on. What are you doing? Like I said, sometimes that's kind of a sign uh, that she's about to do something or something along those lines. Um, anyway, let's take a look at the uh, package here. Again, let me go check again on my dog. Cause <laughs> I know, hold on guys. I don't know what you're doing. Sorry about that. You know, like I said, ever since she had that little accident in my mom's room when my mom was trying to get into her comfortable, uh, at-home, relaxing evening uh, attire um, a couple weeks, about, about, a, about a month ago, I should say, you know, that's when she had a little accident by, by accident. You know, she just couldn't hold it. So my mom, like I said, like I mentioned, is always telling me, be cautious, you never know. Anyway, this, again, let's see what this one um, has to offer. This package that is. Let's see what this has to offer um, on the inside. And it is. Let's see here. We have. Oh, okay. I think I know what this one is. It's what I think it is. We'll open that up in a moment. Yeah, it's what I think it is. So what do we have in here? So, okay, we have the other part to it right here. It's what I think it is, yeah. Yeah, it's what I think it is, just the way its size is. So yeah, these are the two gifts that I got my mom, basically. They're basically the same thing, but in two different formats, um, if you will. Yeah, in two different formats. So what else did I get here? Well, speaking of the DC Universe, uh, Zara Nizrak, one of his videos he did an update on uh, was his uh, videos about comic books and, and all that. So the video, so one of the movies he said he got, I've been wanting to get as well, and I and I never had an opportunity to get it. You think? Okay, you're working at Walmart, Brian. It's there. Get it. Never did. 
and the same with the other one but now I finally got them so the first one I have here is Deathstroke Knights and Dragons the movie yeah Deathstroke of Teen Titans I actually got a movie um, if you will I gotta look at the timeline to see where this lands in so I can put it on there correctly or put it in order correctly on my shelf uh, along with the other DC films so we got Deathstroke Knights and Dragons the movie and then speaking of DC we also have this one this is more of the <laughs> uh, weirder uh, DC ones that they put out because it's not that long it says it has a it says it has a viable runtime uh, if you will and um, what that means I guess is it's viable one run time of 15 to 31 minutes and it's got some shorts on there too apparently but we have Batman death in the family and this is viewers choice basically you could choose you know what happens to him does he live does he die um, you know what happens really it's more it's more along the lines of viewers choice so and that's a unique concept I think that a lot of movies animated or even live action should take especially uh, especially when you go with the um, uh, home video releases you should go that route like for example if let's say one of one of the big movies coming up on the big screen very soon Dune let's say they have alternate endings they went with but they only chose one what they should do if that's the case, not saying it is, but what they should do is say, okay, we have these other two endings we filmed, let's make this multiple choice. Let's see, let's have them choose, let's have them go with the original ending if they want, which, you know, just watch the movie all the way through and that's fine. And then as part of the special features, you know, give them the alternate endings or give them like uh, special features, give them uh, the movie again, but with the alternate ending or whatever the case may be. So yeah, I think they should do that a lot more. They should give fans a, a chance to, to kind of choose exactly what it is. And this is probably the the shortest uh, releases they had. So they do have some shorts on here uh, as well. So let's see, you have, yeah, they have some shorts and everything like uh, Sergeant Rock, Adam Strange, The Phantom Stranger, and Death is on here. So pretty cool to have that in the collection finally then of course had to get this because it's the newest one they put out I haven't gotten one in a long long time and what I'm talking about is the Berestein Bears and this is the Berestein Bears visit Big Bear City or New York City if you will so yeah you're taking the bears out of bear country and putting them into New York and it looks like it was a little scruffed up a little bit a little stickiness right there I don't know why maybe a kid got their hands on it I don't know uh, but yeah this is just basically an interpretation of them going to New York City if you will but it's called Big Bear City and this is the newest one they they put out yeah 2021 I think yeah 2021 that's a Add this somehow to the collection that I have stored away in the closet. Oh, I was gonna say what? They got sticking together here. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, twenty twenty one. This one, like I said, it's the newest one. So that's pretty cool. Been collecting these, these for a long time, and been a fan of them for, the God, since I was a kid. Who hasn't? <laughs> you know. And then last but not least is we put the box down here. We have My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Holiday Memories. Yes. We have My Little Pony, Holiday Memories. Yes, they brought out a graphic novel. Yes. And, uh, yes, this is pretty pretty cool it's a it's a collection of it is a collection basically of a lot of stories and everything uh, that they've 
that they've done throughout the years. It's a collection of a lot of stories they've done uh, throughout the years. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's a collection of a lot of the holiday related stories they did, including the most recent one, if you're a Sparity fan. Yes, including the most recent one, if you're a Sparity fan, which I did get originally when it came out. And that is this one where Spike and Rarity go to dinner together. Various <laughs> events, if you will. So, really, really cool. So, yeah, really nice to have. And, and I know, I know it's months. It's months and everything before Christmas and everything. But believe me. They're already putting Christmas ornaments out at the Knob Hill uh, Mart here, as well as Thanksgiving and uh, Thanksgiving and Halloween cards out already at uh, Rite Aid. <laughs> and I love this. This is kind of weird. You you read this story about Applejack, and she literally camouflages herself into the tree, but the way they drew it here, it almost feels like she merged with the tree. <laughs> you know, right there. It's like, holy crap. If we can get it, show you that right there. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, though, that's yeah, that's about it. We even have the story with the student six in here too. That's really good. That's really good. And let's see, we have oh, we have some, yep, some covers and everything. It's pretty cool, pretty nice. Um, so yeah, really happy to to have this, and you know, can't can't wait to get more comics done. I still got to get the sequel. To uh, friendship is uh, friendship in disguise, if you will. So I still got to get the sequel to friendship in disguise. So really nice. Uh, but anyway, though, that's pretty much gonna do it for the package opening today. Um, yeah, it's probably, yeah. I'm gonna have to put, piece this together through Cyber Power Director. But yeah, it's gonna do it for the package opening today really nice packages to, oh yeah I still have to open the other two to show you what those are are and everything so we're not done yet guys we're not done yet so hold on and of course the music stand as well and the steelbook edition of part two of long on the long Halloween so anyway excuse me there <laughs> anyway drink some coffee there Anyway, what is this? What are these that I got my mom? Well, like I said, she is a Beatles fan. She's a big Beatles fan. And in addition to the upcoming, um, I guess you could say gift packs or whatever they call them, the special edition sets of, you know, Let It Be and Get Back in Time for the Get Back documentary release that they're doing, a movie release. Um, you know, in conjunction with that, um, George Harrison uh, had a album back in the 70s, early 80s, 80s 70s called, um, well, I can't think of it right now, but it has the song My Sweet Lord on it. All, all Things Must Pass, I think that's what it is. And uh, recently, George Harrison's son and his family decided for its 50th anniversary, which is this year, because that came out in 1970, actually it was early, late 60s, early 70s, very early 70s, that All Things Must Pass came out. Uh, but like I said, um, George Harrison's son and his family decided to release for the 50th anniversary the album in special edition form. And I shared that with my mom and she's, and the moment she saw that, she's like, I gotta have that. And ironically, I'm thinking, well, her birthday's coming up, I'll get it for her. Now, my nephew, my oldest nephew, got her an Amazon gift card like he did me. Uh, via text messaging, you know how you can do digital cards and all that. And what was funny though, what was funny though is even though he got her that and she was planning to use it on this, you know, I decided nope, it's going to be me that gets her this and that she could spend it on something else. She's probably going to think about something this weekend, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, as we open this up very carefully, these are not cheap, I'll tell you that. Uh, especially, 
because I think the one down here cost in the hundreds and this was like in the 60s or something like that. So yeah, here's the CD version of All Things Must Pass, 50th Anniversary Edition. There it is. Done up, these are the CDs, so it's done up basically like the original box. Pretty cool. And she's going to love that. I might even keep this box. Maybe, maybe not, I don't think so. <laughs> But yeah, all things must pass, which is pretty cool. So, uh, what, I'll put that right here. And then here, you're thinking, not again. Yep, again. Because this is what I think it is, is the vinyl version, the LP version. Now, what's funny is she has the original, I think. She has the original. It's in the garage somewhere. Hopefully it's not warped or anything. It's in totes. They're in totes, so they should be okay. But here is the vinyl version. That's right, the vinyl version, um, if you will. So yeah, we have the vinyl and we have the CD. So, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, that's what I got her. Now you say, you might say to yourself, well, why did you get her two, Brian? Well, it's real simple. This way she can play the CD, and she can have the vinyls for a collector. And if she wants to play them down I mean, she has, here's the thing, like me, like what I have my camera on right now, she has a record player. She just hasn't used it yet. This would be something she can use it for. So, yeah, there we go. All things must pass. So, that's what I got her. And that, honestly, will do it <laughs> for the package opening today uh, on this TGIF Friday, August 27th, 2021. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Comment in the live chat during the premiere. Like the video. Thank you all for watching, and I am out.